Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about Test Sprite, which is a tool which can be used to test the application using the power of AI agent. And this is so amazing that you can see that you can test your entire application without writing even a single line of code. So basically, you are going to let your AI agent to do all these testing operations for you. And you can just command as if like how you can do in the GitHub Copilot while you do use it for the development purpose. Or maybe use the cursor IDE to ask the questions with the power of agent to write the code. This guy, the AI agent for software testing with Test Sprite, is going to do exactly the same operation, but it is going to do the testing operation for you. And in this video, we are going to see how we can do the UI testing with the power of this Test Sprite. We have already discussed how we can do the API testing with the power of Test Sprite. And this time, we are going to see how we can do the UI testing. They have also released a new feature called as the MCP server with Test Sprite. I'm really not going to talk about that in this particular video because it's going to take an entire video to talk about it. And it's an amazing feature. And I will tell you how exactly that you can use the power of the MCP server to test your entire UI application and API application all with the power of the MCP server, uh, which is just on the plain English text that you can ask the question like a command is going to do all of these for you. That's something I reserve for the next video. And this video, we're just going to focus on the UI automation. And once again, this video is sponsored by Test Sprite. And if you really like the features of Test Sprite, which I'm going to be discussing in this particular video, I would highly recommend you to sign up in the affiliation links below in the description over there, where you can get one month free trial to explore all of these amazing features with like a pro level feature and you can also get discount on the purchase that's the how you can really do with this affiliation link so please go ahead and click the link to avail the offer well as i said i'm going to jump in right now to show you the feature of the ui automation testing so if you're going to go over here in the sign up if you have already signed up and if you're not signed up i will highly recommend you do a sign up in the test right not to perform this operation but if you already signed up all you have to do is just click the sign in button and you're going to end up in this uh, in this dashboard over here. It's going to show you all these different uh, tests that you have already created and things. And you can see that they have got this uh, create test button pretty much like how we did in our last video. Uh, and I'm going to go and start creating the UI test over here. So in order to do that, the first thing which I'm going to do over here is I'm going to say uh, test the EA application for UI automation. And I'm going to ask a very, very super simple questions this time, basically. So if I'm going to go to this eaapp.swami.com over here, you can see that uh, we have got this employee list and we have got the login operations. And you can also uh, create a new employee once you uh, once you sign in uh, to the employee list uh, and then uh, you can perform all these operations. So I'm just going to say I'm not really going to tell any of this information this time, but I'm going to give few information uh, to the uh, test sprite to do those testing for me this time, right? So this is the API test feature. We have already discussed about that in our last video. I highly recommend you to watch the other video if you really not watched it before. But this time I'm not gonna focus on the backend testing. I'm just gonna focus on the UI testing. So I'm gonna skip the backend testing for now. And I'm gonna go to the, uh, the front end testing over here. So I need to give the uh, name of the uh, uh, application or the test that I'm going to test over here. So I'm going to say uh, the EA application test and the URL is going to be this one and I'm going to give the username as uh, admin and the password is going to be password and I can give some extra information to test over here. So for instance, while creating an employee, uh, you need to sign in uh, because the application, the AI agent will not know unless until you sign in, you're going to see the create new button there. So I have to explicitly tell if not the AI agent is, is going to figure out for you and which is going to be a time consuming or maybe there are cases that it might not do that. So always I recommend you to do that, this instruction that you need to give there. And I'm going to say while creating an employee, you need to sign in uh, and you will uh, end up uh, seeing or you will see maybe you will see a uh, create new button uh, which can help you create uh, an employee right so this is the only instruction which i'm going to give this time which can help the ai agent to figure out if, it's, if it is actually going to end up seeing this particular scenario over there this is the only thing that i have given and i'm going to hit next and you will notice that now the ai agent 
is going to go and explore the application for us. And you can see that it's going to take some time over here because it needs to go and understand the application by getting to this particular URL, understand everything for you over there. And then you will notice that it is going to come up with some test cases. It's not going to be like a holistic test case because I have not told here to go and write some uh, like negative scenarios or positive scenarios or like a security flaw scenarios, something like that. I'm not really asking all these questions this time, but I'm just asking as if like I wanted to test this particular application. And this is the only information that I have given the URL, the username and password, and some combinations of uh, information which is required for the uh, the AI agent to figure out while creating an employee. There we go. Now you can see that it has created five test cases so far. And then if I'm gonna see what are these five test cases that it has figured out is, it's gonna say that there is a sign-in functionality which can, it can test for me. And then it can access uh, a create new employee. So it can check that the create new button becomes available and the function uh, functional after signing in and then the employee creation process. So it's gonna say verify the creation uh, form is accessible allowing the data entry, submit the correct uh, correctly to create the employee. See that the reason why the create new employee scenario has came over here is because I told to check the create new button uh, once you sign in, right? So this is what it has done over here for the description. And while creating the employee, I can say that verify the creation form is accessible uh, and I'm going to say, but uh, before that, we need to sign in to sign in to uh, application, which can help see the uh, employees form to create. Uh, and this will allow for data entry and submit correctly to create an employee, right? So this is some additional information that I need to give over there. And then there is sign out functionality and there is a validation of the employee list functionality over here. And if I want to add more tests, I can also do that over here. So I can go and click the uh, test cases over there. And I'm gonna probably say, this is like a low priority, which I wanted to do the testing, like uh, verify the created employee uh, exist in the uh, employee list uh, by clicking a view button. Is that a, there's a view button? I think once you log in, maybe you can just see admin and password. Uh, oops, I think I've entered it wrongly. So if I just gonna go there, uh, and if I'm gonna go to the employee list, you can see that I have got this benefits over there. And our benefits is not something I wanted to verify I probably need to do the edit over there to verify so verify the created employee exists in the employee list by clicking the uh, edit button uh, something like that so i'm gonna say ensure the newly created employee appear in the employee list uh, over there upon uh, clicking the edit link i need to see the employee details right that's one thing which I want to really verify as well. And I can also say, maybe this is a higher priority. I'm gonna say that verify the uh, employee edit operation, right? So I'm gonna say verify the employee uh, edit operation uh, for a created uh, employee uh, over here by updating the details, something like that, right? So I'm gonna say this is exactly the same thing over here. Uh, I need to see the employee details. And upon clicking the edit, uh, I need to see the employee details. Try to edit with different uh, data and verify if the changes saved. Right. So these are like pretty much like the manual test engineer who is going to do all of these operations. You are going to be writing the manual test scenarios if you if you feel like some of the test scenarios are missing there. And then once you have all these test cases. And once you hit the next button over there, you will notice that the magic of the test sprite begins. Basically, now the test sprite is going to use the power of the multi-agentic system, which is going to start understanding what these functionalities in are and how to do the testing. So it is gonna review the test setup and the configuration is gonna do the uh, setup of the test environment. It is gonna analyze the uh, user provided APIs and then uh, it is gonna do the current test plan verification and then it's gonna start doing the testing. And this is all gonna start uh, over here for us and it's gonna run on the test sprites 
cloud to perform the operation. But now you may ask like, Karthik, you know what? This is an application which is sitting on the cloud and you are testing it. Basically, this is deployed online and that's the reason why this is a uh, this is working all of these over here. But what if my company has got an application which is running within my local machine or something which is very much private within our own uh, company and it can't be exposed outside like a public domain application? How can I actually do the testing? You asked the right question. This is something the test pride team has already thought about and they have already come up with a plan for doing that. You can't really just say that this is something we we can't really use it because this test sprite is going to run on their cloud and we're restricted to that but guess what with test sprites the power of mcp test which we'll be talking in our upcoming videos you'll notice that it has got the features of tunneling which is going to run your local application on the test uh, sprite and the only thing is going to access your application and then it's going to run from there. It's not going to really deploy your application, anything on their cloud or something like that, but it's going to use your local machines application, run from there and it's going to verify everything for you over there. That's how things are going to happen while you're going to be using the MCP test, which, which is quite amazing and quite awesome as well. And this is one of the most awesome feature that the test pride team has already released. So this UI feature is already going to give you a first glimpse of how things are working. And once we start fusing it with the MCP server, you will see the amazing features all coming up pretty soon. But let's wait for this test to complete. And I will show you how the test scripts are going to be generated for you. And also how you can see the visual functionality of your application while it is executing. Looks like there is this sign out functionality has been completed and the test has already got passed. You can click that code over there. You see that there is also a code being generated already, which is awesome. And you see that it's written from the playwright a Python code for us over here. And this is the code. So it is basically uh, calling the Python uh, of version of the playwright and it's gonna starting in the asynchronous mode. And then it's setting, setting up the browser setup over here. And then it's gonna set up the context and it's calling the EA app for us over here. And then it's waiting for the frame and the page to load. Uh, and then it's performing all the different operation for us over here. And you see that it has executed. And if you want to see this entire code in action, you're just gonna go to the preview option. So this is something we have not seen the API testing because in API, you don't really have any UI to do the testing, but over here we do have UI. So we can just go and click the button there you see that this now there is this entire recorded operation for us over there so it's doing a login operation and then it is clicking the log off and it has already signed out which is awesome right and now if i want to see the employee creation process like how it has done the code is already there which is super and now if i'm going to go click this preview there so it should be doing an login operation before it's going to do create uh, an employee it's going to go to the employee list it has seen the create new button and now it's just starting to enter all the different combinations of data. It has created that and boom, it is done already. And let's see uh, if there is a validation of the employee list, like how it is actually going to do. So it's going to go create a login operation uh, over there and it is going to go to the employee list. It's going to create an employee, which is awesome. That is what I was expecting it to happen because I have not told any of these things for the test pride to do, but now it is actually doing it all by itself and it has found that the employee really exists there pretty much amazing that is already happening which is pretty cool and similarly access the access create new employee so it's gonna it's gonna anyways pass because we have already seen that once it logs in it's gonna go and see the create new uh, employee button which means it's already working for us that's the reason why this is working so the test is gonna pass and see that there is this edit operation and i'm just curious how this edit operation has panned out this time so it is doing the login operation going to the employee list clicking the create new button entering all the details and i wanted to do an edit operation as well let's see what's really going to happen ah it actually did changing so because we have not told to edit the uh, newly created data but we just said edit operation so it went and edited an existing data we should have told go and edit the user which actually you have created so you can also add these kind of things uh, over there and then you can ask the questions from there you can do that and now you can see that all the test has got passed which is quite amazing and if i'm gonna go to all test over here you should see that we have got all of our seven of the seven tests got passed over here 
which is amazing. And now once you're gonna go and generate the download report, it is gonna generate the reports for you. And we already seen this functionality of the generation report, which is gonna be a PDF report, which is gonna show you all the details of what had happened during the test execution, whether they have got passed or failed and things of that nature. So everything is gonna come up. And we have already seen this before, so I'm not gonna touch it again. But this is what you have to do while you're gonna work with the UI operation with the test sprite. And you can see that we have not written even a single line of code and all these functionalities has came to us automatically so you have seen everything is just working fine for us over here and in any time if you think that this test needs to be changed in a bit for instance uh, if you think that uh, in the edit functionality while it was trying to do the edit operation for me which is uh, this one it was actually doing the edit operation for me on the existing data but if you want to update the test in such a way that you need to edit only the newly created data you can actually say that on, from here this will update the entire test prompt and entire test and then it will run it for you that's how things are going to work so this is how exactly the uh, test sprites ui testing operation works and this is quite powerful without writing in a single line of code once again Thank you so much for watching this video. And I highly recommend you to try the one month free trial as you can see over here. And please use the update link in the description below, which is going to give you even more benefit. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.